What's up, everybody? Vander here. I'm super excited to talk to you about Mirage in Ranked. You guys just recently voted on me to do a solo to masters challenge with Mirage. And this video is going to show you why he's a great solo queue legend that no one is using. The video is going to talk about the strengths of Mirage, how it's going to help you as a solo player and help your team, as well as look at a bunch of great content over the challenge. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more videos and live content like this. We're live Monday to Friday, 11 to 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on YouTube. With all that being said, let's get in the video, guys. The thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was Mirage's extremely low pick rate. Coming in at 2.7% with the average player hitting gold two, and that is about it. Before starting this challenge, that number would not be shocking to me, not one bit in the slightest. But after doing this challenge, and realizing that Mirage is more than just a fun legend for trolling, but that you can actually make some 200 IQ plays that are deal breakers for your squad in rank, whether it be attacking or defending a getaway, I'm gonna talk about his abilities and why they are so useful in ranked right now. First thing I wanna to talk to you about is Mirage's passive, Now You See Me. What happens with this passive is you automatically cloak while using respawn beacons and reviving teammates. Also, if you get downed, you will decoy and cloak when down. This is extremely important in rank because you will be able to actually get away when you're down and have a better chance of doing so as long as you don't use like a knockdown shield which will be a dead giveaway for yourself. As a solo legend in rank, this might not be a bad choice as your teammates will actually have a better chance of reviving you if you can get away to a safer spot for a revive. Reviving teammates is an obvious one. You can get off some pretty busy reses right in the middle of battles that you would never be able to do with any other legend at this point in the game as long as nobody sees you when you go into it. I want to talk to you about is Mirage's tactical ability called Psych Out. Everybody knows these as his bamboozles, which you get every 15 seconds, which can be incredibly useful in rank because you can be using these all the time. You can take oh less God, damage while rotating around the map or by using them to just be Mark. with you in fights. Plus, when somebody does shoot your bamboozles or you do send one into a Watson fence, it'll give you immediate wall hacks. Obviously, the other thing that helps you in ranked is when you do send out bamboozles, uh, you will add a little bit of confusion into the mix. And if somebody shoots that bamboozle, obviously the wall hacks is a good thing, but you will have that instant second where they've either ha emptied half their clip, they're reloading, that you can capitalize on that. The audio and visual distraction of the bamboozle will allow you to get away as well as not just being an offensive tool. These bamboozles are super, super useful in rank, guys. You just have to execute them in the correct way. If you correctly execute a bamboozle or Mirage Alt Life of the Party, you need to be doing this out of the enemy's view. Whether you're coming out from behind cover or using it when you're just not right in the center of a fight and everybody is focusing you, you're going to have huge, huge success no matter what rank you're in by causing that confusion. It's that half second where somebody just doesn't know where you are. You're going to be able to pull off some amazing, amazing plays and it's going to help your team pull off some great shots because of the confusion that you're causing. Runs to Masters challenge was a ton of fun. I'm glad you guys voted on Mirage as I was able to learn a new legend and see how powerful he can be. One thing I didn't mention earlier was that those bamboozles, every time you bamboozle somebody, whether you put any shots on them or not, you get an assist in ranked for that. And that is huge. That was huge. There was one situation in this challenge where I ended up with zero damage, zero kills, because I ulted into a fight, got fried, and while I was healing, my teammates absolutely just cleaned it up. Three assists, just like that. I had no idea before this. Nonetheless, this challenge was a ton of fun. In 123 games, we made it all the way to Masters with the legend that has one of the lower pick rates in the game. We ended up with our highest kills being 18, and our highest damage being 4,500 and something. Nonetheless, it was a great, great time. I had so much fun playing this legend. Uh, whether he's OP or not, he's so much fun to play, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Please do check out a couple of videos that I have on the screen if you're looking for some more entertainment. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.